Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 196. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook, Excel Magic Trick 185 to 202. Hey, Trick 196, we're going to see how to do a grade book where we subtract the two lowest scores before calculating a grade. Now, the videos I'm, I have done between 193 and all the way to 197 are all different types of grade books. So this is subtract the two lowest. Now, there's a few ways we can do this. I'm going to show you uh, how to, the most compact way where we do the whole calculation in one cell. It will mean that we'll have to see how to do an array formula. Because you certainly could insert a column and then calculate the two uh, lowest grades, then add them together, um, and then calculate the overall total. But we're going to do it all in one cell. Uh, let's go ahead and start our formula. Equals SUM, or before we do that, the, let's just point out that the syllabus says, okay, we have three tests. Uh, they're all worth 100. We have four quizzes, each worth 25. But we're going to subtract the two lowest quizzes. So that's the grading criteria. And then we'll see some grading criteria over here in just a moment also. So let's start our formula. I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger, just so we can see just this. All right, so our formula will look something like this, equals SUM, open parentheses. Now we want to start off by adding all of these. Now the way the sum function works, whoops. Notice what happens if you highlight over here. Notice I'm still in edit mode, so for wherever I click, it works. So I'm, I'm OK. I can come back here and get the right data. What I was trying to do was grab this screen tip and move it. See that little cursor, that four-way arrow? If you see that, then you can click and drag it. The way the sum function works, most of us just highlight a range and then enter, right? But there's commas. You can add lots, um, lots of arguments to a sum function. So I'm going to type comma. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to need to subtract the two lowest. Well, there is something called a min function, but that just gets the minimum. So we're going to have to use the small, because the small function can take the first smallest, or the second smallest, or the third smallest. What we're interested in is the first and second smallest. So I'm going to type a minus, because we need to subtract these two values, and then type small. Small needs an array, and then a k means uh, how many values, first, second, third, fourth. Now, I'm going to highlight just those, because those are the quizzes. Notice these are relative references, right? So if we copy it down, it'll always calculate the right total for a particular student. Now, um, comma, to get to our next argument, and our next argument is a k. And now here is the array part, because we want two. We want the first and second. And then the sum function will add them together and, and put a minus in front of them. Well, the way you do that is you have to know some array syntax. You have to find your curly brackets. It's like right below your backspace, but above your Enter key. There's some curly brackets. And you have to do Shift. And there's a square bracket. But if you shift that square bracket, you get a curly bracket. Then you have to type a 1, comma, 2. And then the other curly bracket, close curly bracket. Now I'm going to close parentheses on the sum. And then see how it's green there and it's green there. And now I still need another close parentheses for the sum. I'll close parentheses on the sum. And that's it. That is array syntax. You've got to use those little curly brackets and that comma. But that is how you get to not only the first smallest, but the second smallest. Now. The trick is, since it's an array formula, you can't just hit Enter or Control Enter. There's a special keyboard shortcut that tells Excel, hey, I'm putting an array formula in. And what it is is you hold Shift and Control together, and then you tap Enter. Look what happens up here. There's some curly brackets on the outside that are actually totally separate than these curly brackets. Those curly brackets are from the fact that we just put an array formula. So not only is there a special keyboard shortcut, Control Shift Enter, but there's also a special symbol, but which, by the way, disappears. If I go F2, look, it disappeared. It disappears. So that those curly brackets on the outside only appear while it's sitting in the cell. I'm going to hold Control and Shift and Enter. Now I'm going to double click and send it down. And sure enough, it got it right. I'm going to uh, double click or hit F2. If you do that to look at the edit mode, you have to hit Escape so that it, 
it doesn't take those uh, quote those curly brackets away. Now let's look at this. Did it get it right? We got 300 minus these two. Yes, it did. Now, the last part of it, that was the hard part. Now we're going to do the V lookup because we want to automatically have a, a, a formula here using the V lookup function. See whatever the grade is, go over to this table, grab the grade from the second column, and then bring it back to the cell. And by the way, let's do one by hand 188. Wow, looks like everyone uh, basically failed this class. Wow, I must be a really bad teacher. Let's change this to uh, this one right here to 100. My heavens. So 231, barely a D. So one person gets a D and the rest of the people get F. I'm fired. Let's look at how we do this by hand, though. The, the formula with the function is going to sit here. It'll take this just as we do by hand. It'll remember it. It'll go over to the first column. It goes racing down the first column. When it bumps into a value bigger than it, see, we're, we have 231 in our memory. So it bumps into a value bigger than that. It jumps back here. Then you tell it, go over to the second column. We grab that D and throw it into the cell. So that's how we do it by hand, and the VLOOKUP will do it the same way. All right, uh, equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is going to be uh, a relative cell reference, one to my left. So as we copy it down, it'll always look one to my left. And then we put a comma, and it wants a table array. Well, that's this. I'm going to click at the bottom and click and drag up. Now, these are relative cell references. If we copy these down right, <coughs> right now, uh, the table would move, and we want it locked. We want every one of these formulas as we copy it down to be locked looking at our little grade table. So I'm going to hit the F4 key, which puts the dollar signs in and locks it. That's a locked table, an absolute reference. Now I type a comma, gets to column index. As far as the VLOOKUP is concerned, even though M and N are, I think, 13 and 14 columns, it, the VLOOKUP only looks at the fact that there's two columns here in F. M and an N. So it considers this 1 and this 2. Since the thing we want to grab and put back into the cell is in 2, I'm going to put a 2 here. Now we don't need to worry about this uh, final argument here because we have uh, a range of values. If we were looking up exact matches like words, we'd have to worry about this last one. Close parentheses and now Control Enter to put the formula in the cell. Notice I didn't hit Control Shift Enter. That's just Control Enter. That puts the formula in the cell and keeps the cell highlighted. Now I can point to my little fill handle. And when I see that little crosshair or angry rabbit, I can double click and send it down. And there you go. I'll click on the last cell and hit F2 just to see. I'll click Escape. All right, uh, that's it. Um, uh, 193. Oh, no, we have one more, 197, where we'll do a grade book with weights. All right, see you next trick.